Look at you trying to film your toaster. This is what you imagine. This is what it looks like. This is the same as this. No flavor, no fun. Today I will show you how to create the perfect video shot. With proper steps and the secret ingredient, it's quite simple. Just like the recipe of your favorite cocktail. Step 1. Check the background. Make sure you place the object in a clean spot, no trash, no laundry, no, please. If the shot looks too clean and boring, you can add small practical lights in the background. They add color and variety. You can't just shoot in any background just like you can't drink out of any drinking vessel. What you need is a solid tumbler, sparkling and heavy in the hand. Step 2. Make sure the toaster is clean. A dirty object is like a drink without ice, sad and disappointing. But with ice, pleasing and refreshing. Step 3. Lighting the set is one of the most difficult tasks in shooting a video. It sets the scene, creates the atmosphere, presents your object. I want to draw your attention to the toaster and its details. That's why I positioned uh, in front of our object the brightest light as the main light source. In this case, it's the Aperture 120D with Aperture Light Dome 2. To further eliminate the beautiful form of the toaster, I added a softer light on the side, the rim light. The backlight will give the toaster more contouring and contrast against the background. Choosing proper lighting is hard. Almost as hard as choosing the right gin. Do you like dry or London dry? It's never dry in London. Choose your fighter. Step 4. Do you want to get to the action part in lights, camera, action? Not without the right camera, of course. Even though the camera is important, it's not the most important thing in creating a beautiful video. Because that's you. I'm using the Sony Alpha A7S III. This model is made for 4K video resolution. The highest video resolution for standard use. But beware, a good camera is nothing without you. And without the right settings. Setting the shutter speed is small but important step. This one is set to 1 over 50. If used correctly, the camera can bring out all the details of our toaster, just like the acidity of a lemon juice brings out all the details in the cocktail. It boosts the flavor and creates more dimension. A little more, thanks. Step 5. What does every camera need? The right lens. Here you have multiple options to choose from. The Tamron 17 to 28 millimeter is a wide angle lens, beautiful for mountainside landscapes, but not for us. How about the Tamron 28 to 75 millimeter? It creates the perfect frame for our video. Now let's take care of those settings of the lens. Here we set up the right aperture, taking care of the depth of field. Let's set it to 2.8. Sweet. Just as sweet as that sugar syrup. So sweet. Step 6. This is a friendly reminder to check if the toaster is focused. And a friendly reminder to stir your cocktail vigorously. Thank you. Step 7. Now let's bring in the action. Movement is what brings a video from high to oh hello. If you want to spice things up even more, you can also do things like this with a gimbal. Lateral movement. So cool. But wait, we need more spice in our drink. How about, ah, uh, much better? Now, on to the garnish. Step 8. The garnish of the video world is color grading. You could retouch, alter colors, and contrast. But not all editing software is created equal. I use DaVinci Resolve because it's the industry standard. And it's free. The garnish of the food world is, well, <laughs> garnish. Step 9. And now the secret ingredient you've all been waiting for. Sound. And the secret ingredient for any cocktail. You're welcome. <laughs>